morning. God is good? All the time. All the time. All the time. Bay District, stand up. Let me see you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Come on, Bay. Praise God. We are one years old this year. Amen. Amen. Last year, we um, took the, the action here at annual conference to form the Bay District, which covers the whole Bay Area from Sausalito, Nevada, over to San Francisco and Oakland, Berkeley, Hayward, Castro Valley, uh, Alameda, down to the peninsula, all the way down to Redwood City. and and we hug the bay. When I'm driving around the Bay District, that's what it feels like, like hugging the bay. And, you know, we are beautifully diverse. We have a beautiful diversity. And what makes us so strong, our strength in numbers. Yes, yes. <laughs> we are 50 one churches, about 6,000 members, all different uh, diversity uh, uh, languages, different foods we go and eat when I go to each church. But like the Bible says, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. When we all come together in that beautiful diversity, we are strong and there is strength in numbers and we represent the Bay, amen, amen. There's so much potential for growth in the Bay Area. By the year 2040, uh, the San Francisco Bay Area is projected to add 2.1 million people, increasing the regional population from 7.2 million to 9.3 million. And that would make the San Francisco Bay Area California's second largest population and economic center. We have many people coming in. I know the Bay Area is expensive, and so people are moving out, but for every person that moves out, someone else comes in, and God is sending those dearly beloved children of God to us and giving us the great work of figuring out how do we meet them? How do we reach them? How do we love them? How do we change in a, in a culture that, that does not go to church on Sunday mornings, that goes to brunch instead or soccer games, but how do we be, how are we the church, the living embodiment of it? And our, our task as the Bay District, you gave us that task last year, our mission is to grow, is to grow. Don't get me wrong, that's every single district, every single believer's mission. But particularly for, for the Bay District, we must capitalize, we must use our resources to be able to reach out to this quickly growing population that is diverse and that is beautiful and that is God's challenge and gift to us. And so we've been getting organized this year. You can continue to roll them. There's, we had our first World Communion uh, Sunday where we had the whole Bay District come together and we had a wonderful time. You can just roll them as, as is. These, what you'll see up here now, that's the Bay District in our World Communion service. And we had a wonderful time. And it was just all of us coming together with a focus. And that focus was to reclaim our why, like Brother Marlin talked about. Our why is to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Our why is to reach out to those who need a healing touch, who need to hear the good news. And so that was our, our rally, our huddling session for us to get together and establish ourselves. That's a lot of the work we've been doing this year is to establish ourselves as a district. Um, last July, when we first got together, there was um, a whole bunch of willing hearts and good people, but we didn't have our structures in place. So praise God, we have structure in place. We have a district lay leader, Tyree Johnson from Temple United Methodist is our district lay leader. I tricked him, so I'm hoping he doesn't figure out what a district lay leader does. 
I'm, I'm teasing. He's a wonderful servant of God, and I feel privileged to be able to work with him. We also have a board of ordained ministry. We need that. Uh, our chairs are uh, Bert Yin and Mark Cordes. Are you here? Okay. There's Bert. We have a district superintendency committee who helps me and prays for me and supports me. Committee, just raise your hand if you're here. Amen. We also have a church building and location committee. Mike Frederick, Reverend Mike Frederick is our chair. Mike, Deacon Mike, right there. Amen. This might sound like just, eh, okay, you guys have all these committee meetings. But this is, are the bones for the body, for us to do our work. And for these souls that stepped up and said, yeah, I'll serve. I give God thanks and praise for you. Because, the, because of your hard work, we saw many of our candidates um, commissioned, receiving local pastor's license, and being ordained to do God's good work. We are going to begin in earnest our, our strategies for growth. We're going to continue working with the bishop and cabinet around um, mission strategy, and we're pleased to be able to work with the Reverend Craig Brown, our new executive director for congregational uh, development. Craig, are you here? There he is. He's back there. Amen. Amen. Craig is going to be working with us intently so we can um, maximize our people resources and our human resources and all that God has given us so that we can grow our churches. In the fall, uh, Bishop, myself, Craig, and Jim Griffith, who has been working with us behind the scenes, consulting us to how we might go forward, we're going to bring the district together and begin the work of growing together the reign of God. We're all about reclaiming the why. Our why is Jesus Christ. That's our why. That is why we're here. And, and, and we are here to grow. You'll see some of the beautiful pictures of all, of all of God's disciples throughout the Bay District who are making this work um, a blessing for me to do. And so I still need to put together a district committee on ministry. So I'm going to be asking those people who are here representing your churches to be in touch with me. Um, give me names. Give, give us nominations. Speak with all of us so that we can continue to strategize and get our mission going forward for the gospel of Jesus Christ. When I was a little girl, the worst thing you can do, you can pause on this picture, when I was a little girl growing up with my grandparents, the worst thing you could do was play church. My grandfather was a pastor. Um, I have 46 first cousins because my, my grandparents had 13 kids. Anyway, we would all get together and some of the cousins would play church. I don't know if you've ever played church before, but one, one will be the preacher, the other will be the organist, and, and we pretend and we play. And the worst thing you could do was to play church in my grandmother's house. Now, you get it if you were caught playing church because she said, you don't ever play church. You are the church. You don't ever play church. You are the church. And this picture that you're looking at right now, that is a member, the young, probably the youngest member of Hope United Methodist Church in South San Francisco. You'll hear more about them a little later today. But that little angel's name is Man Man. And Man Man, amen. And he is an inspiration to us all. My husband is the pastor at church, and whenever I go, I say, he's the associate pastor because he runs the show. And that was just one Sunday when I was invited to, to pray, and I saw this picture on Facebook, and he was not playing. He was serious in his conviction. He was serious in raising his hand to God. He's not playing church. He is the church. Amen. Amen. And he inspires me. And I hope he inspires you to grow the church of Jesus Christ. Because what a wonderful world it would be if all of our children were the church. What a wonderful world it would be if all of us are the church. 
And so I celebrate being the district superintendent of the Bay District. I love you all. I love you. I love you. I love you. And we're going to keep working together for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. What you may not know is that I also am blessed to be um, the district superintendent of two churches in the El Camino Real District, St. Paul United Methodist Church in San Jose. Amen, St. Paul. And also San Jose First United Methodist Church. Yay. All right. And I, I, I have that honor because uh, District Superintendent Shinya Goto, he was the former pastor of that church. And so I will be shepherding it for a season. And uh, his wife, Reverend Jennifer Goto, is the pastor of St. Paul. So um, Shinya is my husband's DS and I am his wife's DS. And, and we, we, we keep things clean like that, amen. <laughs> it allows us to go home at night. <laughs> and there's a wonderful ministry at San Jose First that is, is powerful. It's our Spanish-speaking ministry there that is just blossoming and blooming. Uh, Her Gerardo uh, Vasquez just received his local pastor license and will be serving that church in a more expanded way. I'm going to invite Reverend Shinya Goto of the El Camino Real District to tell you a little bit more.